Hello, in this video we're going to look at long run aggregate supply. Long run aggregate supply curve shows the relationship between real GDP and the price level in the long run. The long run aggregate supply is a vertical curve. It is vertical at the economy's natural rate of output, which is sometimes called potential GDP or full employment output. There's no cyclical unemployment in the long run. So the long run aggregate supply or long run aggregate supply curve corresponds to the level of output associated with the natural rate of unemployment. The natural rate of unemployment is just strict uh, is just frictional plus structural unemployment. Why is the long run aggregate supply curve vertical? At any given point in time, there's only one output level associated with the economy's natural rate of output or potential real GDP. In the long run, changes in the price level do not affect real variables like real GDP, real interest rates, unemployment, employment, productivity, and real wages. This idea is consistent with the money neutrality proposition, the idea that an increase in the money supply only increases the price level in the long run. It doesn't affect real things like real GDP. Factors that cause the long run aggregate supply curve to increase and shift rightward. Because the long run aggregate supply curve depends on real things, anything that increases the natural rate of output will cause the long run aggregate supply curve to shift right. So for example, labor, more workers or increased immigration or increased human capital will lead to more output. The long run aggregate supply would shift right. Technology, so technological knowledge, a better understanding on the best ways to produce things, new inventions, new innovations, technological breakthroughs, all these things will lead to economic growth, shifting the long run aggregate supply curve rightward. Capital, if there's more physical capital, workers will be more productive, and this will shift the long run aggregate supply curve to the right. Natural resources, a discovery of new resource deposits, favorable weather conditions for growing crops will increase output, causing long run aggregate supply to shift right. Anything that increases productivity in general or output per worker will cause long run aggregate supply to shift rightwards. In the short run, or in short run equilibrium, the economy can be producing less than its natural rate of output, would be in a recession, or more than its natural rate of output, an economic boom. In the long run, however, the economy will operate somewhere along the long run aggregate supply curve. That's where equilibrium will be. The long run aggregate supply curve is consistent with the classical dichotomy, the separation of real and nominal variables and that money only affects nominal variables, not real variables in the long run. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.